As I move the horses about, they mow the field down lovely and tight. Sometimes they mark it up a bit when it's been really wet weather. But you can see their manure is spread all over the place. But some people think that uh, I'm being cruel and not giving them the freedom to gallop through a field. They just walk in. I've just let them into this section this morning, just before the rain. So they have this square to eat today. This is where they were yesterday. I let them into this square at around 7 a.m. yesterday. And the day before, they were let into that square. Now, if I let them roam freely, they would eat too much. They don't have limits. They would eat and eat and eat. They would get fat and highly likely get sick. They could get um, laminitis or all kinds of other complications, health complications with overeating too much rich grass. Because the more I'm managing this land in a regenerative fashion, the richer and better the grass is. So limiting them to just one of these paddocks is actually good for their own health. Isn't that right, puppers? Yeah. Yeah. You're such a pup. You're such a pup. You are too. Yes. Oh, and you're missing out. So this is for horse health benefit as well as pasture. As a neighbor buzzes off to work at half seven in the morning. So for their health, I limit the amount they can eat in 24 hours. Because if they had complete free range, they would get much fatter than they are the moment she's this is Ishka and she's actually quite fat I even had a vet when the, he, the vet came to give her her annual vaccines uh, about a month ago or a few weeks ago he asked if she was pregnant and at the time she was even fatter so I made the paddock smaller so that she would slim, sl slender down a bit because if they look like they're in foal and they're not, then they're way too fat. But at the same time, Marco Polo is elderly, so he needs as much food as he can get, except you don't want to feed him too much either because he would be very susceptible to uh, laminitis and things like that, being a pony. But they're all very happy. They walk into the next paddock when the next paddock is opened up to them put their heads down and graze and graze and graze. So it's actually, it seems to be a very good health benefit for them. Even if people think I'm starving them or they're not getting a chance to play as much as uh, people think they would like to. Horses don't really gallop around all that much unless they've just been released from being inside the stable for a period of time. So, so you can see the line where yesterday's paddock and this morning's paddock is with a thistle the tops been eaten off of by the horses and all under this ginormous larch tree there's two large trees, and there's another large tree. See you later, ladies and gent. Inca's looking for something. All the two puppies play.